Hi there. Welcome to the Shvelvin's Nest. My name is Sandra, and I'm so glad you're here. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you could hit that red subscribe button and stick around a while. I'd like to thank BB Craft for sponsoring today's video. They sent me a whole bunch of different items that I'm really excited to show you. The first are these little artist panels. Now, they look very similar to the ones that you can get in regular stores, but they're actually quite thin, which is what I thought would be amazing to create little signs, little risers, and anything else you can think of. I am going to make a riser out of this, also using these wooden spools that I got from BB Craft too. I'm going to have all of their information linked down in my description box. You'll get a discount code, plus you'll get an opportunity if you are a YouTube channel to get some products for yourself. I wanted to give this little riser a lot of appeal, so I'm using four of the spools on each side, one in each corner and then two in the center, and hot glue is plenty to hold these together. One thing I do want to mention, if you're going to be creating a project similar to this, you might want to paint the inside panels the color that you're going to be painting the rest of the riser. Just because I wasn't thinking and I got too excited, I started gluing everything together and then realized, hey, I can't paint the inside. So just keep that in mind when you're creating a project like this. Before I glued on the second little panel, I did take this outside and I did spray paint the inside, so the spindles and the inside cover, but then I didn't do the second one. So learn from my mistake and make sure you get all the pieces covered before you glue it together. Now I'm just going to paint the rest of it just with some DIY black chalk paint and I could have gone outside and spray painted it again but I got a little lazy and I decided you know what I'm just going to use my brush and give it one good coat. I'm going to use this beautiful stencil on the riser just on the one side. I kind of wanted it to hang off a bit. Now this one did not come from BB Craft just so you know but they do have tons of beautiful stencils on their website. I'm using a makeup sponge from the Dollar Tree with some white paint just dabbing it off and making sure that I don't have too much loaded on the sponge and then just giving it a light tap all over the stencil. One coat was sufficient for this because I wanted it to look a little weathered and rustic. How many of you still love the reveal of either removing the stencil or the painter's tape or whatever you're doing? I just think it is the most satisfying feeling to see that beautiful image or that nice clean line with the tape. I just love it. I don't know what it is about that, but it just makes me feel so good. If that makes you feel good too, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. To frame this out a little bit nicer, I'm using the sponge again and I'm just going to drag it along each of the edges. That gives it more of a finished look. For my second project, I'm going to use one more of those little artist panels from BB Craft and I'm going to paint it white. These dandelion stamps came from BB Craft. They are so pretty. And you know what? This size fits perfectly on my little 
panel. So I'm going to be inking this up and I'm going to put it on there exactly how it is. Now, the first thing you need to do when you get new stamps is find out which is the backing sheet and which is your cover sheet. The cover sheet is going to be a little bit thinner than the backing sheet. And I like to leave my stamps on the carrier sheet, as they call it, simply because it's easier to manage. But if you wanted to use individual stamps, these do come off and you can just easily peel them off use them, clean them up, and then stick them back on the carrier sheet. The other thing you need to do with stamps when you first use them is just give them a light sanding. I just do that with some sandpaper and I just go over it very gently. I've had this black ink pad for a really long time. It came from a dollar store and it is starting to dry up a little bit, but I just take my mister and give it a couple of squirts. And then I just take a paper towel and kind of dab onto it so the water can kind of go a little bit deeper into the ink portion. And then you'll get a whole bunch of ink coming up again. Now I'm simply going to ink up the whole stamped area and I am getting some ink on the backing sheet, but I'm going to make sure that I don't press those areas down. So I'm getting going all the way to the edge and then I'm just going to flip it over and press it down very gently, but firmly onto my panel. to give this sweet little sign a little bit of color and make it look a little bit more interesting than just the black and white, I'm adding a little bit of this lemon yellow acrylic paint into a little cup. I'll add some water with my mister and then just stir it up so it's just a little bit watered down. Then I'll take my fan brush and tap, tap, tap all over the panel and just give some really pretty yellow splatters to it. I always like to test it out first to make sure that I have the appropriate amount of paint on there, not too little and not too much. I don't like having big globs sitting all over the place. But you can see here, I'm just very gently tapping and that will just give me a little bit of color. Now using the end of my paintbrush, I'm dipping it into the same yellow paint mixture and I'm just doing a little dot inside each of the dandelions. I just thought that looked so cute and just brought out a little bit more of the character of each of these little flowers. I decided to use some of this sage green color. I didn't water this one down. I just wanted very fine, fine little dots just on the bottom third of the sign. And it just, again, added a little bit more dimension. Using the same green, I'm just going to take my fan brush and go along the outside edges all the way around the panel. And I think that just brought everything together. It just looked unfinished if I would have kept it white. So I decided to do this and I'm really glad I did because it turned out really pretty. I've always wanted to use little leather rope or pieces, I guess, or strings. I don't know what you would call them. But anyway, um, you could even call it ribbon, I guess. There is a bunch of different colors in this pack, a couple of black, some dark brown. I think there's a burgundy and even a really dark hunter green. I can't remember right now, but they're just so pretty and they're really nice and thin. So I'm going to use the black one and create a nice little hanger for my sign. I'll have all the products that I used in this video listed down for you 
listed for you down in the description box. So make sure you head down there and check them out. You'll get a discount for your first order and you can check out all of the other wonderful craft supplies that BB Craft has too. I like making little knots at the end of my ropes here when I do hangers. That just gives the hot glue a little bit more to grab onto and it does add a little bit of a whimsical look to it as well. So I'll just use some hot glue and glue this on to make the hanger. I felt like the sign was missing something, so I grabbed another little piece of the ribbon, tied a very simple shoestring bow, and then glued it to the center of the sign way up at the top, and I think that just topped everything off beautifully. Here's all the info that you need to check out BB Craft. Everything is down in my description box. The links are live, ready for you to click on them. You'll get a discount for your first order, so make sure it's a good one. For those of you who are YouTube channels, if you'd like to get involved in the YouTube program with BB Craft, the link is down there for you as well. I hope you enjoyed my video today. I'm so glad you were here to spend some time with me today and I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Here's a couple other videos that might interest you as well. See you in the next one.